All right, a couple of weeks ago, I talked about trading the opening gap reversal with AG and the same exact stock set up one more time. So let's take a look at what it looks like on a daily chart. There's the actual trades down there. We'll come back to those in one second. But the buy was here when it began to reverse. And then I had a half a point initial profit target where I exited half of my shares. And then I had a late day exit. Might have been a 20 cents profit target on that. Now that I think about it, yeah, 20 cents profit target. And I actually exited a penny or two early. I'll explain that in just one second. All right, let's take a look at a five minute chart. Now I traded off a 30, which I'll show you in just one minute, but here's the five minute chart. Once again, those are the trades. My entry was at 640. So I waited for it to begin to rally a little bit. And like I said last week and quite often, by going to a higher level chart accidentally, I found myself getting caught up in a lot less noise. In fact, when you're when you're learning how to trade these ogre trades, you might actually want to go back to that daily chart like I just showed and trade them off of there because the little zigs and zags get kind of crazy. I have, since I've moved to the longer term time frame, so to speak, charts, 30 minute charts, if ever I find myself on like a five minute chart, I write in my trading journal five minute warning because that means something's wrong. I'm nervous about something. I'm either trying to get into something early. I'm trying to trade not to lose, meaning I want to go in. Not, not I'm not trying to make money. I'm just trying not to lose on a trade, which is a bad way of trading. And that's something I want to get into later tonight. But we ran out of time or I ran out of time. So I'm going to cover that next week and what it means to be a trend following moron. But anyway, so the initial profit target in this case was 20 cents and I only did a thousand shares. Now I did do this across multiple accounts, but I do like to show you on something that would probably be more manageable for somebody with a smaller account. So you should be able to do a thousand shares. That's about $6,000 into the trade. Obviously you don't want to lose that much. And with protective stops, you can keep the risk within hundred bucks or so. But anyway, so exited half, at a 20 cent gain now if memory serves in fact looking at the trade you can see it's a little bit shy of 20 cents and that's because it just seemed like it couldn't quite get to that ipt it was within a cent or so and i figured it was close enough and as soon as i exited of course it kept on going but at least i got my piece off and then i'm pre-rolling on the remainder and then i just trailed the stop but you could see it died out and uh, late in the day, one of you guys pointed out, I think it was Travis, pointed out, it looks like uh, walking a dog and he's trying to figure out where he wants to leave his mess. And that's kind of what the stock did. It just died out really quickly. So all the excitement was very early in the morning, but I tried to hold on as long as possible. And about 10 minutes before the close, I went ahead and just bailed on that. So 90 bucks on the first loaf was supposed to be 100, but close enough for government work. 75 on the remainder, that's 165, you know. It's not a huge amount of money, but it's better than the poke in the eye. It's forty thousand dollars, forty-one thousand dollars and change. If, but who's counting? If you were able to do that every day, now I know that's hypothetical. But the point I'm trying to make is, even if it's a small amount of money, you can go in and pick up with these ogre trades at a relatively low risk. Then I think it's worth a shot. Now, uh, by the way, your best ones you want to have the daily chart set up. If you go back a couple of slides, notice that the daily itself was set up as a pullback. And you look to trade the opening gap reversal within that pullback. So here's the 30 minute chart, which I'm actually watching or what I what I use now. So my buy was there. I let it kind of do its morning opening gyrations. There's no fixed amount, there's no set amount, but ideally if they gap open and rally a little bit and then implode a little bit and then rally and implode and do that little shenanigans a few times and fake you out or fake everyone else out a few times, then you kind of feel like the hook is in, especially if it's has a, a mediocre rally, a sharp sell-off, and then all of a sudden, suns all of a sudden begins to rally again because that that knocks out some nervous Nellies, and it also sucks in some more shorts probably. And then when the market begins to reverse, you take advantage of the predicament of those traders. So that was the buy, and again the IPT was up here. I got out at 6.58. And I was looking for 660 to make 100 bucks on the first loaf, and then trailer stop. And unfortunately, it uh, it didn't set the world on fire in the second loaf, but at least I made a little bit. And again, better than the poke in the eye. 
sometimes you get into these open gap reversals, you make a little bit on the first loaf, you get your IPT off, and the worst you could do is break even, barring a halt, I suppose. And sometimes they really take off and they'll go, sometimes they'll go back in black for the day and beyond. And then you exit on a close, and you're looking pretty darn good. But anyway, I exited close to the close on this, about 10 minutes before the close. All right, any questions on opening gap reversals? One thing I'd recommend you do if you're on my YouTube channel, which is Dave Landry, I'm sorry, which is youtube.com slash Dave Landry, go to my quick clips and I have quite a few ogre trades there. And every time I get a new one, I make sure I add it to the quick clip so you can get a, a good idea of how it works there. Also the TFM 10% system, which we're gonna talk about right now, I also have quite a few videos there. So it's nothing is, uh, everything is fully disclosed is what I'm trying to say.